So you save on plastic and also on printing time. So you don't need to have here um, infill. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Another project here in 3D printing, the famous Cathedral of Notre Dame de Paris in Paris, France. Before I give details on the church and the printing time and limitation on the Ender 3 printer, and that's because of the size, let me just show you with the side camera here. Look at the details. This is a very nice model in the uh, Mini World 3D collection on my minifactory.com. I'll put the link in my video description and look at the front here. And by the way, since I'm showing the model, the fire of April 2019 destroyed the roof over here and the spire over here, unfortunately. So that is very unfortunate. So the cathedral started to be built in 1160 and, wa and was mainly completed in 1260. So it took 100 years to build most of it. And I may state the obvious, but it means that the people who started to build the church never saw it completed, which was kind of typical in the Middle Age uh, with the, you know, the long-lasting constructions. Uh, famous for its organ, one of the largest in the world. Also famous for the stained glass, or they call them the rose windows. There is one here, and I forgot on which side. There is an east side, and there is a west side. There is one also here, and there is a big one in the front right there. So uh, I'm putting pictures here at the same time I'm showing these uh, rose uh, windows. This is where Napoleon, by the way, was coronated. Uh, in the uh, 17th, uh, no, sorry, 19th century. In 1790, I was going to say, there was a lot of damage to the, to the art and the um, damage and also destruction because of the French Revolution. And that's unfortunate because every time we have a war or a revolution and even some protests, we lose art. In my opinion, that's very unfortunate for the future generations. Approximately 12 million people every year visit Notre Dame de Paris. So that's a very, very touristic site. Now, I was going to say that uh, you download the file for free, and uh, this was printed at 120% file size, 120. And uh, with the parameters you see here at the bottom of the screen, it took one day and 18 hours to print this with my Ender 3 printer. My recommendation to you guys if you want to print this model is to go to 150%, 150. You'll get more details. The church will be a bit bigger. Uh, what you see here in the back, all these small details here, here, right there, this will be a bit bigger at 150%. I think you'll get a better uh, model. Now, I'm going to be picky here because you, well, if you follow my channel, especially like the 3D printing videos, you know I've been doing a lot of, um, of, of um, um, well-known sites, uh, like, for example, Petra in uh, Jordan. I'm going to be picky here, like I said, and I would say that a model like that should have like a base because you end up here with the doors that are basically like, like hanging in the air. They're, they're touching the cardboard here. So that... That should be on the base. And an example here is what I did here uh, a few weeks ago, the Parthenon, and I did a video on that. And as you can see, the Parthenon has a small base over here. So anyway, in my opinion, a model should have a base. Even the my Colosseum over here, and look at that, there is a base around it. So it makes it easier also to manipulate, to, to, um, to, show, uh, to show people. And, uh, and like I said, you don't end up with doors or stairs over here that are kind of floating up in the air. Um, other than that, this is a very nice model, like I said. And look at the underneath. Look at that clever this is. So you save on plastic and also on printing time. So you don't need to have here um, infill in the middle of the church. And I think if I can show here one side... Uh, yeah, here in the front, it says here in the front here, mini 
Mini World 3D is engraved here in the model. So very, very nice model, guys. Uh, I highly recommend that you print this if you like uh, structures or cathedrals or monuments. This is a very nice model. Um, like as always, if you have any questions, put them down below and I'll be happy to uh, get back to you. And just taking, uh, checking my note over here to make sure that I did not forget to mention anything. Uh, oh, there is one thing I did not mention. Because of the fire, they're of course going to rebuild the roof. But the church was also under renovation to make it more solid, to last like, you know, a lot of, a lot of centuries. And um, this will take time. So they're hoping to be done by the spring of 2024. I'm doing this video here in the spring of 2020. So they're hoping to be done in four years, just in time for the Summer Olympics of Paris in 2024 so that's one thing I thought I would uh, mention so thank you guys for watching and uh, hope to see you soon on my channel goodbye